Trump isn't scared of the caravan. Trump is using the caravan to win Congress, to win the Senate. He's using all of us. I want to underscore what the president said. Uh, we have the same agenda. USA! 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 We are determined to take our country back. We're going to fulfill the promises of Donald Trump. That's what we believed in. That's why we voted for Donald Trump, because he said he's going to take our country back. We're going to take our country back from these people. Will you unequivocally condemn David Duke and say that you don't want his vote or that of other white supremacists? I don't know. I mean, I don't know. Did, did he endorse me? Would you just say, unequivocally, you condemn them and you don't want their support? Well, I have to look at the group. I mean, I don't know what group you're talking about. You wouldn't want me to condemn a group that I know nothing about. I don't know anything about David Duke. I don't know anything about white supremacy or white supremacy. There was a horrible shooting in Pittsburgh at a synagogue, and eight people have been killed. Shots fired. Shots fired. Uh, actor's name is Rob Bowers, 46 years old. You said he's carrying an AR-15 and a Glock at this time. Seven one uh, suspects talking about uh, all these Jews need to die. Jews, kill you. That's the Proud Boys in a nutshell. We will kill you like Bill the Butcher and the Bowery Boys. We will assassinate you. We condemn in the strongest possible terms this egregious display of hatred, bigotry, and violence on many sides. On many sides. There have been a report out that 48 bomb threats have been made against Jewish centers all across the country in the last couple of weeks. Many many there are people who are committing anti-Semitic acts or threatening... You see, he said... He was going to ask a very simple, easy question. Okay, sit down. I am the least anti-Semitic person that you've ever seen in your entire life. Racism. The least racist person. In fact, we did very well relative to other people running as a Republican. Quiet, quiet, quiet. A California man was arrested for making violent threats against the Boston Globe. In one of 12 calls to the paper, Robert Chain allegedly said, you're the enemy of the people. We're going to kill every effing one of you. A few days ago, I called the fake news the enemy of the people, and they are. They are the enemy of the people. They are the enemy of the people. They are the enemy of the people. For years, caravans like this one have inched their way from Central America to the U.S. border. Young men, women with children, fleeing violence and hardship, joining together for both protection for the long journey and to call attention to their plight. The Trump administration announced it is deploying more than 5,000 additional troops to the border to stop what it says are a caravan of migrants and refugees that the president has called an invasion. Keep in mind, investigators say the suspect in Saturday's synagogue shooting blamed Jews for illegal immigration, even referencing a conspiracy theory that somehow a Jewish group that helps refugees called the Hebrew Immigrant Aid Society, or HIAS, was bringing people to the United States to do violence. They're bringing drugs. They're bringing crime. They're rapists. They're not putting their good ones. You know how the caravan started? Does everybody know what this band huh? I think the Democrats had something to do with it. A large group of people, they call it the caravan. The caravan. The caravan. This will be the election of the caravan. The caravan. The caravan. The Democrats want caravans. They like the caravans. A lot of people say, I wonder who started that caravan. And it is a little suspicious how those caravans are starting, isn't it? Isn't it a little? And I think it's a good thing maybe that they did it. Did they energize our base or what? <laughs>